And welcome back to the Port Oldham Details channel. This week we have a Mazda MX-5 in, a convertible, a soft top, a rag top, a cabriolet. Cabriolet? What is it, 1990s? All you need to know is the top comes down, but the top needs cleaning, it needs protecting as well. So we have some stuff from Valet Pro, or Valet Pro, however you want to say it. We have the cleaner, ready to use stuff, drop top cleaner. In a trigger formation, we have the drop top protector because we're going to need to protect it after we've cleaned it and it's dried out sufficiently and we also have some nice stuff from uh, wax and away now you, recently you've been seeing the uh, wax and away red brush which you might see again this week got some chemicals from them we've got the pH neutral shampoo quick flash there we have the snow foam plus we have the hd tire gel and the ceramic detailer down here and also have some stuff from go going to start featuring go on the channel a bit more Go Detailing Trim Plus, that's for the exterior plastics on the Mazda. Now, quick tip for you. When the sun comes out and you have a chrome dome like me, protect your bonts. Yes, I'm a little bit shiny this week. That's down to me sitting in the garden drinking a crafty g and tea. So, protect your old Swede and you're good to go. Anyway, roll the video. So here we go then. That is not a special effect, that is the sun, believe it or not. Yes, that is the sun. Do not adjust your sets, as they say. We start with a rinse down. The machine this week is a all black nine series direct hoses machine. It's highly portable. The reason I'm using it is because it's so easy to pack in the back of my car. Buy a van you say? No, I don't need a van. I don't do enough cars and I don't do window cleaning in my spare time. No offense window cleaners or detailers or valeters. I just don't need a van at the moment. I don't do this full time. I am a part timer. So APC via the Laser Industries sprayer. And then we are gonna scrub that tire with the SGBCUK, easy for you to say. Scrubbing brush, tire scrubbing brush. The difference between this and the Tough Shine is quite simple. It's got a longer handle on it and the bristles are a slightly different composition. Yes, big words coming out this week, composition. Someone's had some sleep. So you might see all that grime coming through. You're gonna to have to hit that again. We need that to go white. All right. So once again, drench it in APC, all purpose cleaner, and go at it again until it goes white. It's all right, you've only got to do this another three times. You'll get used to it. So once you've done this, Foamy time, this is breakthrough wheel shampoo from high definition detail, around about 15 mil in that 1.5 litre pump foamer. So while that is clinging to the wheel, it's breaking down the grime. There is grime in the back of the wheel in the barrel area, which we're gonna cope with these. Now you probably think, hang on, why hasn't that wheel woolly gone right to the back? It's because some idiot at Mazda thought, I know, I'll put these guards around the brakes. I'll make them razor sharp as well, so you cut your fingers when you put your hands in there. Curse you, Mazda. What I ended up doing was doing the majority of the wheel with the wheel woolies and then going around very quickly after with the smaller, easy brush. That's the blue, smaller of the bog brush range. 
Good job I took all my wheel brushes, that's all I can say. Oh, Peter left me blimmin' lunch at home. God, I was hungry. Rumble in the jungle. I've got to say, the customer, thanks to him, he did come out with tea and biscuits. I think he just put, took pity on me and thought, he looks like he's wasting away, that poor, poor young lad. Young? Really? As long as you've been over this several times and you are happy, you can get on with the next bit. Waxing away detailing brush. This is a chemical resistant detailing brush. Everything in this video, I'll put links to underneath the video, including the affiliate links and the podcast. Underneath that lot, you'll have a load of links to have a gall pack and fill your boots. So lug nut areas and those spokes. Boom, we're making some progress. Now the rear wheels weren't too bad to be honest with you and also the brake assembly was slightly different. Didn't have any issues when I was putting my uh, furry things in dark holes. Easy. And also the tyres didn't seem to be that bad. Come on, pull your finger out, Paul. We've got loads to do. Right, main event, the roof drop top cleaner from Valet Pro. Now, the first thing you have to do is to wet the roof, get it a bit of a rinse down. There's a couple of options open to you here. You can use a pressure washer and you can turn down the pressure, or you can do what I did and use a hose with a sprinkly attachment for those gardening duties that everyone loves doing, not. So just do a section at a time, rinse it down, flush out any nasties you've got in there. So using a hose just allows me to get a bit nearer to see what I'm working with rather than standing about 10 foot away with a pressure washer, flailing it around like a lunatic. Pre-mix solution this is, from Valet Pro. So the brush I'm using is a Vican upholstery brush. Vican do a ton of brushes. I'll put the links down below where you can get the brushes from. And they just go on forever. Their brushes are very, very well made and they're affordable. If you're starting out as a weekend warrior, as a newbie, and you want to get hold of some decent brushes, buy these. So we get around to these, this quarter part. This didn't look too bad. You can see the foam. There's not really any junk coming through, no grime, there's no green. Wait till you get to the bottom of the roof, the bit you don't see. So we've got a Detailer's Passion Detailing Brush. Looks exactly like a toothbrush, only harsher. You'll start seeing the crud come through. This is the bit that never really gets touched. So just keep working it in. And that's the first of a few flushes. Once again, just using the power of the hose. Why don't we use a pressure washer, especially at close range, is because when it dries, you will just see a load of tram lines and that's because you've pushed all the dirt and the product into the fabric of the roof. And when it dries, it stands out like a saw, you know what. There's no point doing any pre-washing just yet, we're doing the roof and it's all going to run down the side of the car.
And I managed to make a rainbow. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? So move around to the rear of the vehicle. Once again, that lower part is always going to be the worst part it's where all the junk collects. And do another section and just break it down to sections. Now, if you haven't got like Mr. Tick alarms like me, you're going to have to make it smaller, smaller sections. And yes, I am fairly tall. I'm just under six foot five, so it is easy for me to reach over the top of that car. I did sit in this car and I was very taken with it. I thought I could get one of these and then I decided to try and get myself out of the car. Yeah, that was a mean feat in itself. I just look like your granddad, you know? You know he used to drop your granddad off at the shops and he was like, <coughs> getting out of the car. That was me. God, I'm getting old. Look at that grime. Ugh. So another rinsey poos before we do the next stage. Luckily for me, the sun was out. Incredible. I had to ask someone in the street, what is that thing in the sky? What do you need? What do you mean obsessed? Obsessed? British people, the weather, I won't have it. Next stage, snow foam plus from wax and away. Now, you can put a base layer of citrus if you really want to, if you have a really dirty vehicle. And go over the top with the snow foam, just, that just allows the dwell time that much longer. The base chemical, the citrus, will eat into the crud. Now, first inspection of this car, I thought, I'll just get away with the snow foam. Later on, I decided to go over a few bits with some all-purpose cleaner with a little bit of citrus in it. Because I didn't notice some of the bugs on the front. Super clingy, the snow foam. So areas like this. I recently had a hire car and the first thing I did when I went to fill it up was check this part and I was astonished. It was filthy. A bit like this one. This one's a little bit grubby. It's never been touched. If you think about it, how many times you actually put fuel in your car and yet people neglect to clean this part. So using the all-purpose cleaner just boosts that cleaning power. Now you can use a bug off type product if you really want to on this area. The other thing I noticed with this car on the nose cone, it has some etchings from some previous bird doo doo, which have ruined the clear coat. Could do with a machine polish or a wet sand. So do your int intricate areas with your detailing brush. All the time, the rest of the car is still dwelling. I told you this stuff hangs around, didn't I? So I'm using the white nozzle. That is the 40 degree nozzle in the gun. The widest one. protection on there. So these cars happen to be one of my favourite cars at the moment. I think they're a really nice looking car and they're really well built. They have a reputation for being sort of like a hairdresser's car but do you know what? They're a nice car. They're nice inside. It's only a 1500cc car this one. I spoke to the owner, he says he's really pleased with it. That must be his wife's car. I think he gets to go out there occasionally. So you've got the all black nine in the background there. That's how small that machine is. pH neutral car shampoo from Wax and Away. 
So a few glugs of this in the bucket and you're good to go again. You might be looking at me with a very strange face thinking, why are you doing the roof? You've already cleaned it. Well, why not just go over it again? The whole reason we don't snow foam the roof is because it's a pain in the posterior to get rid of it. The shampoo rinses off far easier than the snow foam. So it's a nice lube action with this shampoo. But we found some tar spots. In fact, two. <laughs> Not many tar spots on this car. So that's the AM tar remover. Just get rid of those and then rinse it down and you're good to go for the next stage. Glass after a off-camera drying session. This is from Garage Therapy. Now these windows were particularly bad on the inside, including the windscreen. Someone had sprayed something in there and there were some spray marks on the inside of the windscreen. If you don't do glass, it ruins the appearance of cars. It's no good having a shiny body and then speckled glass. Ceramic detailer now, SiO2 infused detailer. Heard lots of good things about this. You can apply this wet, use it as a wet coat. I chose on the day to do dry method. So we're probably talking about four months, maybe longer with the longevity claims with this. The first impressions is it is very, very slick and super, super easy to apply. When we're doing jobs like this, we just want things to be zero fuss. We just want to get on with the job and get it done. Yes, thumbs up from me. A few sprays per panel. Use a decent microfiber. That is, in fact, a Valet Pro microfiber cloth. You can go over plastic with this. There's no issues with it at all. There's no streaking, there's no leveling. It is really easy stuff to use. But it's the slickness and the glossiness you'll see straight away. Even the owner came out and remarked on it. So in the background to the right, I actually bought my air blower, but didn't actually need it this week because of that rare occurrence of that thing in the sky. So as I said, you can go over plastics with this, you can go over the lights, there's no issues with this at all. that lovely gloss another reason for me wearing my hat you so you don't get confused with the gloss drop top protector now so you might notice some, some marks on this that is the roof just drying out with that chemical watch it see now that soon disappeared it evaporates Moving on to the tyre dressing stage now. The tyre gel from Waxing Away. Fairly thick, gloopy affair. Butterfly your applicator like so. And it spreads the product around. And then just work your way around the tyre. All very simple stuff. And when you get right to the bottom, once you've done all the tyres, move the car backwards or forwards and just do that last bit. There's nothing worse than seeing a car with a bit that's been missed on the tyres. It's really annoying. Now you can, if you really want to, carry some small bits of wood. I've seen it on YouTube where they drive over a small piece of wood, like a, a plank, not me, obviously. And uh, that raises the tire up enough for you to get to the entire uh, tire. So there, there is a way of doing it. Trim plus now with go. So it has these small bits of trim. 
You might look at that and think, why bother? Well, there is a big reason. It provides a nice contrast between that glossy finish on the paint and the plastic trims. So we're pretty much on the home straight now. That is it. Time for some award-winning floaty stuff. So the Mazda looks nice and glossy and shiny and it has protection not only on the body but the roof and that was the main part of this job was to get that roof looking good and get it protected. But we started off with the wheels with Breakthrough Shampoo, 10, 15, 20 mil of this product, high definition detail, put it in a foamer and it is nice and efficient in every way. You don't use a lot of product and also it's an efficient way of cleaning. The foam clings to the wheel, it allows a longer breakdown time if that makes any sense because it breaks the grime down a bit like snow foam does on your body not your body but on the car body and then you can go in with your wheel woolies or your easy brushes and you're good to go on the day i found it a bit fiddly with the brake calipers got those guards on it that moving the car back and i ended up just using the mini brush the easy mini brush to do it off camera that was the wheels came up lovely nice and clean that was the first product when it comes to pre-wash so we had the Shampoo Plus from Wax and Away, super thick, 100 mil of this in the launch. You could probably go down to 18, maybe 50. If you have citrus underneath first as a pre-wash, then dial it back. You don't really need to use 100 mil. It produced a really nice result, it's super, super thick. And just be wary about washing cars in the sun. It was unavoidable on the day. It was one of the days in every five million that we get some sun in our country because our country's just known for being gray in every way, just is. Anyway, shampoo, high lube shampoo, high lube, and two glugs of that in a bucket. It was fine. There's nothing I can really say about it. It's a nice shampoo to use. It's easy. It's got lubricity there on, on the panels and it doesn't die off in the bucket. Decent shampoo. Now it comes to the actual main event of cleaning the roof. Now, if you're going to be watching this, probably thinking, why don't you just use a pressure washer? Why don't you just turn the pressure washer down? I've got one. I used it on the day, but I just wanted to be safe. I just wanted to use the hose method. Um, you can do it, you can turn it down, you can change the nozzle to a 40 degree nozzle as long as you're far enough back. All I was doing was pre-rinsing it down. So being that closer with a hose allows you to have a, a bit of a better look to see what's going on. I suppose that is a plus side. I might try it, I might go back to that method. The reason you don't use a power washer, you might use a power washer, you can argue the toss in the comment section. You don't want any tram lines left on that roof because it will just push all the grubby crap into the material when it dries you'll end up with all these lines all over the roof because that's the reason when it comes to the products the drop top cleaner from valet pro already mixed up in this bottle produces decent results panel at a time see how it's going on see what it's doing maybe flush it out try it again if it's if it needs a bit more attention in really grubby areas around the bottom of this roof end up using this uh Details passion style toothbrush and all that grime was right where you couldn't actually see. Did a really good job. Flushed it all out once we were done and then once it's dry, now we were lucky, the sun did come out amazingly. You add this stuff, this is the cleaner, uh, sorry, the protector. What is wrong with me? Yes, the protector. Put this on and then if it rains, it will just bead off. It will just run off. There's no point in cleaning the roof and then not protecting it after. There's numerous products like this on the market, but this was really easy. 
With this trigger spray, it did dribble out a little bit, and I noticed that on the roof there was a, a few marks. It, it just evaporates and disappears, and you're left with this nice black roof. So that was the roof. When it came to the glass, I had Garish Therapy's One Glass Cleaner produces decent results, this does, and you don't need much of this at all. On this particular car, the windscreen was the worst offender. It was awful, lots and lots of watermarks. And it had some, some sort of spray had been sprayed inside the car. It had a lot of marks on the inside of the car. So once that was done, it did start to look a lot better. So that was the glass cleaner. And then we get to, uh, we're gonna talk about this one actually, the high definition or HD tire gel from Waxing Away. It produces a very, very glossy finish. If you like your tires looking glossy, then this one is for you. Spreads easily, is like a thick gel-like formula. Get your tire applicator. If you've got a sponge, use one of those, whatever you want to use. Try and wear gloves when you do it, because it does get a bit sticky and a bit messy. I sort of chuck a lot of pairs of gloves away during the day, because I'm using a camera, obviously, but try and wear gloves when you do it. And then roll the car backwards or forwards to get the bottom part of the tire as well. Did enjoy the finish on that, I do like that one. And then we have from Go, the trim. Now the trim on this car is very minimal, there's not too much of it, but it does stand out when you don't do trim, it just finishes that car off, it provides a nice contrast if you're doing a last stage protection product, in this case a ceramic, they complement each other. Enjoyed that, decent trigger sprays as well, thanks to Go. You're gonna see Go uh, on the channel very, very soon, got some more products coming from those guys. Enjoyed that. And then we get to uh, the ceramic detail now. A uh, big shout out to Johnny Shell and James from Waxing Away that have been sending down this stuff. Uh, this stuff is, <laughs> you were right. They, they, they said a few things about this. You can put this on wet, but on the day I chose to put it on dry. All I can say is this is another one of those really easy products to apply. It's super, super glossy. It almost has a filling effect. There is some swirls on this car, but it just produces the first panel I did, I looked at it and looked at the other panel and it's like, it is light and day. Some products have bold claims and they say they're, they're this, that and the other. This is pretty underrated, this stuff, but when you use it, it's super easy. What does it compare with? It kind of compares with ODK Silica Sealant um, and Gary Therapy Sigma. It's kind of like that. It's an SiO2 uh, ceramic infused product. Apparently you can use it as a wet coat as well. Haven't tried that yet, but we might try it on the channel. Really, really enjoyed this stuff. This has to be, it's good. And I didn't doctor my images either. A uh, very, very quick word about that. I don't doctor my images. I don't do photo edit shop or, you know, I don't touch my images. It's what you see on the day. The sun comes out. All I've got is a polarizer on my lens to stop that glare and to make it look a little bit more natural. But Apart from that, I don't touch anything. What you see is what you see on the videos. That was the ceramic detailer. So big thanks to Elliot Valet Pro. There is still a ton of Valet Pro products that are gonna be coming on the channel. They did send their entire range, including all their accessories. You're gonna see more Valet Pro. I'm kind of juggling the videos around or trying to. Thanks to James from Wax and Away sending in the products and also uh, the Go detailing products you're gonna see on the channel. Thanks guys. They are coming very, very soon. Please like, share, and subscribe as always, and please look after yourself, and we'll see you on the next video. Tell you bye.